Hello, this is Greg Gallison, Green Greg's coming to you on the 10th of September. Time on deck, 22, 1300 hours Central Daylight Time. Ladies and gentlemen, I know you know about the mandates <clears throat> put forth by the President of the United States under executive order. These mandates effectively will put tens of millions of Americans out of a job if they're enforced, if there's not something done, if there's not some court action or something else to stop it, tens of millions of people will either accept what he's putting out or they will be out of a job. Now, many of you may say, but just go ahead and do it. 72% of the people who have not already had the uh, procedure have said they're not going to do it. I know somebody who fits that category. They're looking at it. Not going to happen. I've got a career in federal contracting that starts back in the 1980s. Been in this business for a long time. Had a lot of interest in jobs, careers, worked on many interesting things. Poof. Poof. Hey, all you guys that have been collecting these from me, you're going to be hurt. Not just me, but many other people like me. Remember how the banks went insolvent uh, in 2008 because some people walked away from mortgages? That's a pit neck compared to this. This is an economic uh, reset. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. How are businesses going to be operate, able to operate? Businesses right now can't find people. They can't get enough people to work for them. There's a huge labor shortage. Now, suddenly, they got to tell maybe 20% of the workforce. Bye-bye. Because those people are going to say, uh-uh, I ain't having it. Nope, uh-uh. What's that going to do to our already stretched, strained economy where supply chains are snapping and unraveling, where you know, hundreds of ships are offshore, tens or hundreds of ships are offshore cargo vessels off the LA coast and San Francisco and all the ports because there just aren't enough people to keep everything running right. Factories are beginning to lose things. Hmm. Sounds like the great unraveling. Charles Schwab but have another name for it. And it's not a pretty picture. You know, face of the idea of losing everything I've worked for for decades, all because of a little executive order. Tell me that my body is not my temple, as Jesus Christ said it was to tell me that I have to involuntarily take something that for, when it's on their side of the agenda, a certain phrase works, but when it's me, for me, uh, you know, my body, you know, uh, they're trying to tell me it don't apply. Yeah, a lot of you have argued with me about this that have been in my Facebook sites and so forth. I ain't buying it. I ain't buying it and I'm not taking it. And so are a lot of other people in the same boat. And what's going to happen to the economy as a result of uh, this? It's called a train wreck. It is called a train wreck. I bring the, you this as part of my eyes wide open and head on the solar series. It's hit the fan. It's hitting the fan right now. All this is supposed to happen within 75 days. Get ready. Brace yourself. We're about to have a rough ride. There will be legal action. There will be people fighting this. And let's hope the fight prevails. Because otherwise, we will be in a massive train wreck. And it's going to be a train wreck anyway. I mean, some of this will start to take effect. Some things will start to happen before all the injunctions or whatever else can really, I'm thinking before they can play in. It doesn't take much more percentage of things to really mess things up, to make things run amok. 
Wow. This is not a pretty picture. This is not a pretty picture. So ladies and gentlemen, prep, prep, prep right now in every way you can. Get ready for the supply chains to go poof. Get ready for prices to go if you can find it, if you can find goods. Your store shelves are getting bare. Yeah, I've been planning to do a video on that because I got video from my stores. It took a week ago. I just haven't had time to post it. Guys, I haven't posted this one, one other video other than a couple live sessions all week. I have been crazy busy working for a day job that's probably going to go poof. Hmm. Interesting. So what am I going to do? I'll do what I can. Am I going to give up? No, of course not. Am I going to panic? Never. Am I happy? Do I look happy? Not with this, I'm not. I might can find some things that would make me happy at any given time. But this is not one of them. This is not a happy subject. It's not a happy topic. <sighs> Go to the big box store. Watch my videos on wild edibles. Many are in the same boat. Many are going to be in the same place I'm in. And some of you are probably laughing at us. Ha ha. Well, have your laugh. Go ahead. You're in this train wreck too. <laughs> now nah, I laugh. Okay, <clears throat> we're all in this. It's gonna be and then it's gonna be a train wreck, wreck any way you slice it or dice it. This is you know supply chains coming unraveled. It's gonna be ugly. Store shelves, poof. We've seen it before. We've seen it before. And you know, there's that bug going around. Are there gonna be more shut down, more lockdown? What else is coming around? There's other rumors. There's other stuff. So guys, you know, I don't know, all this over something that's now that the new Delta variant that they claim that the case fatality rate is something like the flu. Hmm. I get it from my account, kind of just kind of a rough, a rough number of what they claim are the numbers. Let's see if I can find that. All right. Now, this is reported cases. This is what they claim. I'm not vouching for it, guys, in my county. That's what they say. Well, no, United States, pardon me. They were showing me counties. What? In the United States, new cases. Yes, that's, that's not astronomical numbers. Okay. The United States, so 300 million, we got 1,800 dead. Hmm, like a bad day in traffic in LA. Um, well, let me just take my little calculator up and let's divide uh, one, eight, one, three, the numbers I had there, divided by two, five, eight, Nine four one equals. Wow! <laughs> Do the math yourself. Do the math yourself. Ah, I'm gonna focus now. Hang on, come in close. There we go. Do the math yourself. Zero point zero zero seven. Now that's the decimal number. If you multiply by 100 you get the percentage rate which is 0 0.700 so it's less than one percent 0.7 this is like the flu for this you're shutting down the united states you're wrecking the economy you've been wrecking the economy for a year Uh, seems to me the medicine is worse than uh, what it's been given for. Okay. I don't know, guys. That's, you be your own judge. I'm not saying what it is or ain't. But, hmm. Hmm. And of course, well, many ways look at those numbers. But, you know, wow. That's about the numbers they put out. Whatever good that is.
I can do math. Well, I'm getting good numbers to operate on. Well, the data's good or not, but I can do the math. The math is simple. What is that? Interesting. Well, I've seen other numbers, you know, you know, ranging from a half a percent to one percent. Hmm. Well, anybody that we lose is a tragedy. But wow, we got a tragedy. And this tragedy may lead to people starving, it may lead to all kinds of social, 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 <laughs> social, I can't even say the word, societal breakdown. I have to think Peter Fry, he says that all the time, societal break, breakdown, which can mean a lot of people losing it, being six feet under for various and sundry reasons. When you get societal breakdown, hmm. Tens of millions out of job. That can't be a pretty picture. But that is what we're really talking about. If you look at just the populations, I think like 80 million people are, uh, you know, not taking it. Of those that have not taken it, of those that have not taken it, uh, it's been said 72% says they're not going to. That translates to 57 million Americans. How many of those are working under the constraints of the guidelines? The guidelines are, you know, companies with over 100 employees. Got to take it. Guidelines are federal government employees. Got to take it. Federal government contractors. Got to take it. Me? Ha, ha, ha. No. All right. I'll work as long as I can. As long as they let me, and I'll continue to do a good job as long as I can do it. Of course, now this stuff's racing around in my head, competing with the other thoughts that's supposed to be in my head instead. Hmm. So, you know, the, the, the working out safety aspects for avionics and a rocket. Hmm. That's what I should be doing. All right. So that's why the, this. You know, YouTube may help make up a little bit of my survival path. <laughs> it's a tiny little fraction. I've been mean, using to try to fund my farm while that still comes out of my pocket, though. But uh, you got to get ready. You got to prep. Uh, right now, I've got a special room, and you really ought to consider it while you can, because supply chains come unravel. You may not be able to get it. So, so look at it while you can. $200 off of a three month supply which is six of these buckets, 2,000 calories a day, which is a lot more than a lot of the others offer for, you know, that, that time period of uh, survival food. A lot of them are got 800 calories a day, which, you know, you can't survive on that. <laughs> 2,000 calories a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We drink some desserts, make you a winner. Uh, go to prepwithgreg.com and you get $50 off of a one month supply. Great deals, great deals. One month supply is two of these. So check it out, guys. It's a great deal. Petwithgreg.com. Check it out while you can. Get it while the getting's good. Because the fan, the 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 the, the uh, fresh manure is hitting the impellers. It's 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 heading at them right now. And it's about to start unraveling unless something stops this madness. Unless something stops it. It's going to get ugly, and you can you can pontificate all you want. Oh, well, everybody should just I, I just ought to take it. Everybody, blah blah blah. Well, it is not going to happen. That's not going to happen, no matter what. It's not going to happen. Okay, wake up, get real. It's not happening. That's why it's going to be a hmm. Hit the fan. It shouldn't have been forced. My body, my temple. Well, there you go. So what do you need to do? Well, prep. What to do if you're in this situation like me? Uh, there's a lot of people out there and on Facebook. I know I'm going to get this. Oh, you should do it. And then they just go raining on me. Blah, 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 blah. Well, bite me. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> yeah, tough not happening 
You know, some of us might get a religious exemption. Many may not. Maybe a few people get, I might get one. Who knows? Because it is my body, my temple, saith the Lord. But, you know, it works for everybody. So it's going to be really dicey. It's going to be a zoo. And I don't, I'm not sure I want to be going in and getting swabbed every other week either. You know, something stuck up my nose. I just had that done. And yeah, I'm negative. Still, I've done that twice now. But somebody is, is telling me that those swabs have got carcinogens on them. I'm not saying they do. I just looked up ethylene oxide. It's a gas. Gas goes poof. It ain't a goop. It's a gas. So I'm not so worried about a gas. So I don't know. That's what somebody says. I've heard it from a couple of different sources, but I haven't dug into it enough to see what's actually in the ingredient list. Ingredient list, not use list. Yeah, ethylene oxide is used to sterilize things like swabs, but it goes poof. It goes poof because it's a gas. I don't say there. And if it was a goop, eh, it'd be a different matter. Maybe there's something in the goop on those swabs. They have something to take the junk out of your nose, make it stick, maybe. I'd be cotton itself will do it. I don't know. Uh, you know, gauze will soak stuff up to a certain degree. But hey, you know, any good mop, if you've ever mopped before, you know, it's, uh, you know, a dry mop don't mop up nothing. You got to wet it first. So what's wet in it? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm not, until I find out, I don't want any more of those in my nose until I find out what's really on that list. All right, guys. But how about those of you that are in this bucket? Well, we got to find alternate ways to make it. You know, market gardening, green uh, microgreens. You got to find ways to stand on your own two feet. Worm farming. Sorry, I'm not selling worms just yet. <laughs> uh, just a lot of things, guys. Uh, hey, I did one on courier service. Maybe you could do courier service and not be in this, but you're going to be out and about with it. But courier services will be very popular when things aren't connected. All right, guys. I did a video on that a long time ago. So, I don't know. Just hang in there, pray, love your family members, and don't ever lose hope. It might get rough, you might lose material stuff, but keep your soul, keep your body. You can always come back another day and rebuild. So, all this stuff, it all burn down in the flash in the morning, even just. Well, we don't know if you said that. <laughs> Insurance cuttings of the beast. Hey, you did it. Oh, I did. I love my books and all this stuff. But, you know, guys, you just never know. You never know. Like I was driving down the road on the 19th of April. Everything was fine and dandy. The guy in front of me stopped. Okay, I stopped. Got the truck behind me. I said, we're doing this. And it hit me. From the looks of it, they applied their brakes about four feet behind my vehicle and went to hydroplaning because they left bike parts. It's, that's no good. Except for it sent me flying until I hit a pole. All right. Well, enough of that said. Um, yeah. The whole point of this video is this an economic unraveling will ensue if this starts. At least 20% of your workforce with those shortages already upon us. It ain't going to be pretty. No way it's going to be pretty. But uh, let me share a couple of things here. That's what I really wanted to do. And I got to talk so much, I almost didn't share anything. Let's do some shares. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, we'll just take it from here first. Here's what the White House is saying. Requiring, this is straight from the White House, guys. So, you know, fact checkers don't, don't, Blow me out on this. <laughs> Acquiring all employees, employers with 100 or more employees to ensure their, their workers are, they got it, or tested weekly. Hmm. Well, I'd really have the testing than that still. Getting tested every week, that's a real hassle. Acquiring vacations for all federal workers. And for millions of contractors that do business with the federal government, yeah, that's, uh, oh, I said vacations. <laughs> I wish. 
yeah, you know what that word is. I heard it when they take off to go get one of those. I don't know. Acquiring the, 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 that thing there for over 17 million healthcare workers. That was going to require for all federal employees and federal contractors. All federal employees and for millions of contractors to do business with the federal government. Well, that's me. Here's one of the executive orders on it. I've heard various things about exceptions. I don't know, I'm not seeing exceptions in here. Some people say postal workers and people in the White House don't have to, to go here. Hmm. Maybe that's somewhere else. I haven't found that yet. Interesting. But the opposition rises. Here's a congressman from the district right below the one I live in right now, actually the district I grew up in. And Joe, uh, Congressman Joe uh, Adderholt here, Robert Adderholt, excuse me. I might as well call him Joe. Robert Adderholt. I have sat in this man's office and talked to him directly for an hour one evening in Washington, D.C. That was about space. <laughs> nice man, really nice guy. So I sat in his office for an hour and he actually called me in. And we, we were, I had my appointment with him. And then he said, oh, just, and it was right at the end of the day. He said, no, just stay, let's chat a while. It is an invitation. We sat there and chatted an hour. My last appointment of the day, I was going around meeting a number of congressmen. And he just wanted to chat. And we did. So I really, uh, you know, it was a rare opportunity. And I have sat and talked to congressmen, you know, face-to-face, -face, briefly, here, there, and younger. Like uh, Mo Brooks is my congressman for where I, the district I'm in now. So you probably have heard of him. He, you know, he's been known to take a stand on the hill <laughs> so like on a certain day that uh, starts with you know the six <laughs> in the month of jan when they were putting stuff before the uh house or whatever all right so let me stop that share i'm gonna show you another share here Bing. so make sure i get this up well, show y'all how it's applying to me Guys, a second. Bing. This is a message from the administrator of NASA. He says, as you've likely heard, President Biden has just NASA all federal employees and contractors are now to get them. And I, you know, there's no, you know, I'll say these words, I get in trouble. So give me a break, guys. We at NASA are implementing this presidential mandate as soon as possible. There you go, as soon as possible. Okay, even though the state of Alabama said nobody in Alabama can do that to their employees, I'm sure they're not going to pay it a lot of attention, even with the 10th Amendment. Interesting where we're at today. I've been in Bill Nelson's office and I actually delivered him a proposal that he took up for a compromise between commercial and civil, civil space. So I've had a very positive encounter with him once upon a time. Actually, the staffer, Paul Dampfries, Colonel Paul Dampfries, uh, that was in 2010, <laughs> I believe. All right, guys, so let me show another page here. How to manipulate the masses. One, fear. Do it or bad things will happen. Two, flattery. Do it. And you're a good person. Three, bribery. Hey, yo, look what I got for you. Four, violence. And according to this chart maker, we are at step four. And there we go. All right, said enough. I got to go to the farmer's market in the morning, so uh, I won't be doing a live show tonight. It's late. I'm tired. It's going to take me... 30 minutes maybe to upload this if uh, it don't hit a snag uploading or processing or going through the checking procedures. In that case, it might be 20 years from now on a post. Who knows? These checking procedures take forever. <laughs> a day or two. You know, sometimes it's hard to put time and news up. Uh, I have one of my very recent videos. It was in check-in. 
24 hours. I can't do nothing with it. I should have just deleted it and reloaded it. <laughs> Bye, my friends. Everyone be safe. Take care. Always remember, as uh, light dispels darkness, love dispels hate. Go out and shine your love light to the world. Go out and hug and kiss somebody you love. You never know when you, know, you won't be able to do that in the future. So take advantage of that now. And uh, tell everybody in your family you love them and your friends. So thank you for watching.